Hey, it's Tina Forsyth here. So one of the things I'm asked on a very regular basis is, Tina, how do I know when I need to hire an OBM? How do I know when I need to hire an online business manager? Do I need an OBM or do I need a VA? Help! I don't know who I need. I know I need someone, but I don't know who I need. There's actually some really clear aspects to this that I wanna to bring to the table for you here today so that you're clear on whether you need someone now or to be prepared for when you're going to need someone at the OBM level down the road. So first and foremost is to consider that there are three functions that happen in any business, whether you're just getting started or whether you're six, seven, et cetera, stage of the game. And that is doing, managing, and leading. Everything in the business happens because these three things exist. So doing is the function of just flat out getting stuff done. There's admin stuff, there's techie stuff, there's marketing stuff, there's delivery of services, there's financial things, there's all kinds of things that need to get done in the business day to day, week to week, month to month to make things happen. The management function. The management function is making sure the right things get done in the right way at the right time and by the right people. Making sure that stuff's getting done by the right people. It's getting done in the right way and it's getting done at the right time. That's the management function. And then the leadership function is looking forward, casting a vision, making decisions on where we're headed and why, strategy, what's going to be the best way to get there, leading yourself, leading your clients, leading the team, leading the business. These are the three functions that happen in any business. Now in the earlier stages of business, especially if it's just you, you're literally going to wear all three of those hats. You're going to wear the doing, the managing, and the leading hat. Now as early as possible, I, always, I definitely recommend getting help with the doing. So you're actually going to build your team from the bottom up, is what we're doing here. In the very early stages, getting some help with some of the doing, in particular administrative, techie, day-to-day, -day, lather, rinse, repeat, type activities, as, as long as you have the budget for it, you can't get that kind of help soon enough. The sooner you can get those things off your plate, the better. The more that's going to free you up to do the things you need to do in your business. Not to mention you probably don't wanna be doing those things for the most part either. Now the management piece, this is the next piece that kicks in here. And so how do you know when you're ready for management level support? There's a couple of things that come into play here. So first and foremost, you need to have a business for someone to manage. So I say that a little bit tongue in cheek, but here's what I mean by that. You don't hire management level support when you're just getting started. Your focus in the early days of your business is to define your market, define your business model, get the marketing engine running, really start to build the foundation of, I have something that people wanna buy from me on a regular basis. And so that's your focus in the early days. Now, once you've reached the stage of proving your business model, so you have, you've hit a target market, you're clear on your offerings, you've got people buying what it is you offer, you're loosely around the 10 to 15,000 a month range and up, so that earlier six figure range, this is generally the space where you need to look at bringing management level support in. Because now there's stuff going on in your business. There's things going on in your business that need to be managed, that need to be taken care of. So a really good rule of thumb is this. When you, as the leader of your company, are spending more time running the business than you are growing the business, that's where you need to bring someone in at the business manager level. That's where you need to look to bring in that management level support. Because what happens for most people when they're sometimes they're just bumping into this space and starting to feel it. Other times they've been carrying this management piece on their plate for years, months, years, and they're beyond frustrated about it. If there is not somebody in the business purposely managing, guess what? It lands on your shoulders and you're the one who has to sit there all day, every day. All right, what's coming up? What needs to be next? Who's gonna do this? Who's gonna, oh, did that get done? Oh, I need to check in with so-and-so. I need to make sure this person has this, this and that, etc. There's a lot of activity that comes into play with managing the business. There's a lot of, of energy in carrying that and taking responsibility for it and really owning it. And it's an extra huge drag if you don't like doing it. You know, I've spoken to, to business owners over the years who are just like, ugh, I hate doing
doing this piece. I can't do it anymore. And it's like, well, you're right. You shouldn't be doing it when you're at a certain stage of growth. And if you don't like doing it, then you're probably not doing that great a job of it anyways. You know, your role as the leader of the company, again, doing, managing, leading, when you're at the stage that you've proven your business foundation, you've proven your business model, you're clear on where you're headed next. You have a vision for where you wanna go and you're really purposeful to make that happen. This is where you need to bring in that management level of support. So if you're looking to hire an OBM, go to our website. We have a website at hireanobm.com. One of my programs is I'm, I'm the founder of the Certified OBM Trainer. We also have our Certified OBM Association. And if you go to hireanobm.com, you'll be able to connect with and get plugged into our OBM directory, our posting job board, so you can look for that level of support. There's some amazing people in there to help you at this level. And if you have any other questions, let me know. So if there's anything else you wanna know around hiring an OBM, finding someone, what does it look like to work with them? Go ahead and post those questions here with the video. I'm more than happy to answer any questions that you might have. And here's to you getting to focus on the growth of the business. Here's to you being able to take things to the next level with the right type of support for you and your company. You deserve it. Your mission, your vision deserves it. Your client deserves it. And so being able to make sure we have that level of support in place, mwah, that's the way things are meant to be. All right, until next time, it's Tina Forsyth. Take care. Bye now.